number of heart-related deaths in the United States rose sharply during the first year of the pandemic. Data from the American Heart Association shows the number of deaths in 2020 exceeded the previous high recorded in 2003. Nearly 929,000 deaths were blamed on cardiovascular issues in 2020. That's up from nearly 875,000 in 2019. Dr. Celine Gounder is here on set with us to talk more about this. She is the editor-at-large for Public Health at Kaiser Health News. She's also an infectious disease specialist and epidemiologist and a CBS News medical <laughs> contributor. Good to see you, doctor. Good to see you. So uh, let's talk about this. Um, how has COVID-19 impacted the heart? And specifically, because you and I have talked about this before, you see on social media people who don't have degrees in medicine but have degrees in conspiracy theories talking about folks who may die suddenly from heart-related uh, conditions as it, uh, 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 the way that they see it as the vaccine causing these heart conditions when we actually don't know the medical history of the person and we don't know if, in fact, they aren't vaccinated, and perhaps this predates the vaccine. So I want to emphasize these, in, this increase in deaths was in 2020, before we had the vaccines, when you just had COVID. And it was very clear as somebody who was working in the hospital, we had this big wave of COVID in the spring in New York City, followed by this big wave of heart failure related to these complications from cardiovascular disease just a couple months later in August. Uh, how does COVID cause cardiovascular disease? A couple different ways. One of which is it causes inflammation of the blood vessels and blood clotting. Mm. And when you get a blockage in the blood vessels that feed the heart, you get a heart attack. When you get a blockage in the blood vessels that feed the brain, you get a stroke. And so as a result of that, we saw an increase in heart attacks and strokes. On top of that, um, COVID can also infect the heart muscle, which leads to weakening of the heart muscle. And the end stage of all of this can be heart failure. Well, we did see that the rate of the cardiovascular deaths among Asian, Black and Hispanic people were especially high in 2020. So what was contributing to that? So remember, who was hit hardest by COVID during the mm -hmm. pandemic, especially in the early days? It was people of color. And so we were seeing higher rates of COVID in that population. And we also see higher rates of other risk factors for cardiovascular, cardiovascular disease in people of color, whether that's obesity or high blood pressure or diabetes. And together, that further multiplies your risk of cardiovascular disease. Uh, so do vaccines lower the risk of cardiovascular disease uh, and deaths related to COVID-19? A hundred percent. So and I can't emphasize this enough. COVID vaccines are protecting you from cardiovascular disease, from protecting you of the heart damage that results from COVID. And so when we talk about the vaccines preventing severe COVID, maybe they don't protect every infection, but they protect you against severe COVID, including the heart attacks and the heart failure from COVID. So here's a question then, is it possible to then, for example, I had COVID uh, after I'd already been vaccinated and boosted, I got it back in October. Is it possible to, for a cardiologist to take a look at your heart again, pre-COVID mm -hmm. and post-COVID to see if there's been any kind of changes and what would those changes look like? So if you had myocarditis, for example, um, so that's inflammation, infection of the heart muscle, you might on an echocardiogram see that your heart is not pumping as effectively as um, it had been before. If you had a heart attack, maybe you, it was a mild one where you didn't really notice, um, you could again see something on the echocardiogram, um, maybe an EKG in that setting too. Um, so if you do have a cardiologist, you have concerns, you had COVID during the last couple of years, it's probably worth uh, revisiting, getting a checkup if you haven't already done so. Yeah, that's sort of what I was thinking, which is that there's probably people out there who will say to themselves, oh, you know, maybe I, I, I weathered this, right. but I just want to double check that nothing has changed dramatically in my ticker. Well, a lot of people also skipped um, missed medical care over the last couple of years because they were afraid of going into the doctor's office, afraid of going to the hospital, or just couldn't get an appointment. And so if you have what we call fallen out of care, you haven't seen your doctor in the last couple of years, I would really take advantage of this moment now as things have gotten calmer, um, particularly if you had COVID, to see if there were any consequences. All right, of that. good advice. Important information. Dr. Celine Gounder, always great to have you. Thank you.